since we ate clean a couple of weeks back, has been tuned. The rattling its head off. Like the, uh, you know, pistons are coming out of the bonnet. Just madness and daring rattles, you know, going noisy, quiet, or driving. Even driving, I suppose, the injector values are all over the place. It's daring all the time, not even fixed in one fault area. And anyway, we put this thing back to standard, to the standard file, and that shut basically most of the noise up. And the injector values, interestingly and amazingly, came back into, you know, let's say within two e of where they should be. So out of spec, but within two e where they should be, and no more varying. With the injectors, and everything was fixed after that. So all we can say is this thing had a bad remap, and it just shows you that you know, we're seeing more and more and more of these things. As guys just buy these files and upload them, and they get power because they pour fuel in. But at the end of the day, nothing lasts. Of course, this thing was heading on a downhill journey to the uh, graveyard. But say was putting in new injectors and particularly getting rid of that remap. An interesting thing is with the noise. We record a very, very high rail pressure, and of course the rail pressure now should have been adjusted through the roof. So there's this old sort of adage when the remapping started to make its way on the market. Oh, the chips are no good. They turn up rail pressure. Mate, the amount of rail pressure we see coming out of bad remaps would make any normal chip cry with the engine. The amount of rail pressure getting turned up with maps that are you know, out of control is crazy. So it's more about the bad tuner than actually a device that's being used to tune. The device is the platform. The tuner is the guy who's got his fingers on the keyboard. And of course, this had really bad rail pressure maps. No doubt everything else, black smoke, people were pouring out the back like squid ink like you saw in that other video. Anyway, he will be happy, everything's done, we just got to get the cover back on the inner cooler, get a final road test, and on his way, happy as ever. See more of these videos, keep watching our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, at BearMedusa.com, where you can look at more about cooling and looking after your diesel properly.